Okay, how's everybody doing today? Uh, this video is just a video because I'm selling my motorcycle. Uh, regrettably, uh, really. Um, but I haven't had much time to ride it. And uh, not only that, when I do have time to ride it, it hurts my back. So I have a couple herniated discs in my back. So um, I've only put on 659 miles since I got it the beginning of 2018 I bought it new so uh only 659 miles on it so I'm paying insurance on this every year and stickers for the plates and it's just not really worth it so some people wanted a walk around video so here it is when I say it's in pretty minty condition I uh I do mean it there's no scratches on the thing uh but here is what we got we got Brembo M50 calipers. These are the same calipers that I had on my ZX14 double R SE, but they stop much faster on the Aprilia. Uh, this has the big 300, I think it's 320 millimeter discs, and these are the Brembo discs. So uh, this thing will pull the back end off the ground, no problem. Uh, it does have, because of the Bosch 5-axis IMU, that little guy right there under the seat, the uh, it has rear lift control because it can work with the ABS braking to limit the amount of rear lift. So if you brake super hard, the rear tire comes off the ground, it can use the ABS brakes to slow you down without flipping you over. So you can mash on the brake as hard as you want and it's not going to be an issue. Uh, as far as the condition goes, it's it's mint. Uh, there's no scratches anywhere. Um, I used to be a detailer, so this is actually waxed with Zymol Vintage. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Or Zymol Vintage to normal people. Um, but I just looked it up today. That wax is $2,873 for the container. It's in my fridge right now, but that's what this is waxed with. Uh, also, before the wax, I did uh, Jet Seal 109, which is a paint sealant. So, uh, it's it's plenty slick here. Um, the No dents in the tank. Somebody asked me if they need dents. No, and I definitely would have told you if there was some dents. Uh, there's no ticks in the motor. There's no no issues of any kind. It, it runs fine. It's on a battery tender, which is sitting over there, uh, all the time when it's not driven. And Aprilia suggested that because they said it's actually sensitive to voltage fluctuations and the voltage can drop in the battery when it's stored for a while. So you just leave it on a tender and it's always up to, uh, up to power. So it's always been on a tender. Every time I park it in the garage, I put it on a tender. I just unplugged it because I was gonna show you a cold start here. So the engine is cold, you know, I can, there's there's no heat at all. I can touch the exhaust pipe here, you know, there. No heat. I'm not burning myself. Uh, but this is the RR, of course, so it has the grab handles, which I actually preferred over the factory. Uh, it also gets a rear seat, and it's somewhat wide, so you could have your lady sitting here on the back, and it's going to be reasonably comfortable. Some of the sport bikes, they give you this tiny little pad, Actually, like the factory edition, it gives you this pad that's about this big, and it's no girl ever wants to ride on that. Uh, this has the factory fender. I do have the fender eliminator kit over here. In the box right there, this is a steel one, so it doesn't bend. Some of these are flimsy and uh, aluminum, and you bump them into something, and then they bend and get all weird. This is steel, so it's going to be nice and strong. Uh, I haven't got around to putting it on, but I'll give it to you with the sale of the bike. Uh, it also comes with LED turn signals that are a bit smaller, but still nice and bright, I'm told. And it has the required um, LED uh, license plate light. Um, I got the Agip. I don't know how you say this, um, decals. You notice the two are gone there, which I put on the spot where the factory has them. There's also some uh, kind of protective film here too, I think from for your heel, but uh, it, no wear on it, of course. And I got the sticker that doesn't come with the RR, it comes on the factory, but I wanted it on mine. 
Uh, I also added the uh, PR part of the Aprilia, uh, like the factory, that's the factory decal for the frame. Uh, I did not get the A and the rest of the P, which you can get if you want, that goes here. So you can complete the Aprilia just like the factory model has. But I didn't get it because I was going to get the tech spec tank gripper pads and those would have covered it anyway. So you can decide what you want to do there if, uh, if you want the pads or you want to finish off the Aprilia name. Uh, totally up to you. <clears throat> this year, this is 2017, I actually didn't like the look of the factory because it had bright orange wheels and I didn't care for the orange wheels. And it also had Pirelli Rosso Corso, or uh, rather Pirelli Super Corsa tires, which are good for like 1,500 to 2,000 miles. These are the Pirelli Rosso 3s, and they're good for a lot more miles, and they're still really grippy. No normal person is going to find the limits of these anywhere uh, on the street. Uh, all kinds of tread left. You can see I never got to the edge of the tire because I've never taken it to the track, never drag raced, never redlined. It's almost disappointing, but uh, the front end does come up when you accelerate hard. Uh, just under acceleration. You don't really have to try. Uh, see the front here. Uh, front tire, of course, gobs of life left. It's just dusty. See the wear bar there? See how far that is down there? It's like no tire wear has come across. Oh, the other thing with the, uh, with the Brembo brakes, these are the um, Brembo discs too. These are the floating discs. Uh, they're better. Brembo makes good stuff. But also, not only that, most bikes that have Brembo brakes, I will tell you, have a Brembo caliper, and then they use, like, a cheaper third-party disc, and they have a cheaper master cylinder, like a Nissan or something. Uh, but on the Aprilia, they, they do the full Brembo package. So you have Brembo master cylinder on your caliper, uh, caliper, Notice this is a spot that gets scratched on bikes really fast because you park it up against something and you get a scratch. No scratches. Uh, they are adjustable for reach. Um, but having the master cylinder be Brembo also um, gives the exact amount of fluid flow that that caliper wants to see. And it's also Brembo braided lines from the factory. So you don't have to upgrade to Brembo or uh, braided lines to uh, um, to get the proper brake feel. It's it's all dialed already. You don't want to swap anything out on that. Uh, same thing with the back. Now, a lot of bikes that even even have the full Brembo up front, like my ZX14 Double um, R SE, um, had the front Brembos, but the back they switched to a Nissan caliper and had a cheaper master cylinder. Not so with the Aprilia. You get a Brembo rear caliper, braided line, and you get the Brembo master cylinder for the rear brake. That's very rare to see. Uh, you get a sex shock, but it's fully adjustable and it has a reservoir. Um, the <clears throat> one thing since I knew I had a back problem too, the Olin suspension even dialed all the way soft is firmer than the sack suspension will go. So um, having the back problem, I didn't want, I, I didn't want to have to deal with suspension that was too firm. Now this can be firmed up, but you have the ability to dial it out. Like right now I have the compression damping and rebound dampening all dialed out of the rear shock to make it as cushy as I could for myself, but still too much for me in the bumps. Um, the front is fully adjustable as well. Give you the other side of the bike. The front is fully adjustable. So you have uh, compression damping over here on the right, and then you have uh, uh, rebound damping over here. Um, you've also got some lines here so you can, uh, you can actually raise the forks if you like or lower them, but that's what those lines are for, so you can get them both even. Um, let's see here. Can I get you? I'm squeezing in between the hot rod here. Um, yeah, no oil leaks, no ticks in the motor. 
I mean, there's not even any heel wear on the, uh, <laughs> you know, in this area from a boot or anything. I uh, still have the factory decal that tells you the uh, uh, pressures for the tires. Chain's in good shape. Uh, it still has the yellow line from the factory where they lined it up. Uh, only 659 miles, so chains and sprockets are in good shape. Tires are great. Uh, but let me give you a cold start here before it runs too long. This is the first year with a full color TFT dash. So there we go. Lots of settings in there. You can see the mileage. 659. Okay, here we go. shut it down here so I don't exhaust myself um, so yeah no ticks no problems I just changed the oil so it's got zero miles on this uh, uh, you know it's full full synthetic uh, and I did a factory uh, OEM filter so this guy here is OEM uh, no leaks no drips no cracks in the oil pan uh, no issues, <clears throat> no issues at all. So, uh, the one thing, <clears throat> excuse me, one thing I will say over 4,000 RPM, a valve opens in the exhaust. Once you hit 4,000, it opens up and it's like a straight pipe. So that's why I don't have an aftermarket pipe on it because it wouldn't make a difference when you really, when you get on it, uh, it just looks smaller. So the pipe is a little on the big side, but over 4,000 RPM, it sounds amazing. It's like the best sound in the motorcycle world, I think. And I've been around bikes my entire life. Uh, this is the best sound over 4,000. It sounds a lot like a V8 uh, Camaro, like a really built Camaro or something. It's, it's weird. Uh, it's four cylinders, but it's like its firing pattern is almost like a V8. So that's kind of what it sounds like. Anyway, hope that gives you a good view. Um, be sad to see it go, but uh, you're going to get, yeah, the tail tidy, the factory OEM mirrors, uh, the factory bar end weights, the tail tidy, the, the other stickers. Um, and uh, I put these <clears throat> bar end mirrors on. These are the Rhino ends that you can hold a lot of, you can hold like the CRG mirrors that are better quality than these. But um, I just wanted to get rid of the mouse ears, you know, up top that kind of look. <clears throat> kind of coughing here on the exhaust but anyway i always had premium in it i just put premium in it'll probably f run fine on 91 but because i have it sit and octane drops uh as the gas sits um i just always filled it with premium so that uh it was always uh enough octane to not cause any detonation or anything so anyway thanks for watching and uh, let me know if I can get this puppy to you. All right, have a good one.